Welcome back to Signs and Wonders, everybody. I hope you're all enjoying the videos. We got some crazy stories to cover in today's video, especially the last one, so make sure you all stay tuned till the end. Before we get started, please tickle that like button and help the video perform in the dreaded YouTube algorithm. Imminent insect demise means global food web is on the verge of collapse. The newest report from the World Entomology Body, or the web, is absolutely frightening. Buried in the late Friday afternoon news cycle, the most recent annual assessment available of insect health indicates that loss of whole insect communities is imminent, which will have disastrous effects for the global food web. The collapse of the insect population is due to a series of factors, loss and fragmentation of habitat, pollution from light, microplastics and synthetic pesticides, the spread of pathogens and parasites, and the climate crisis. These are the stressors that drove the demise of the world's insect biodiversity. Now the human ability to grow enough food to sustain the world's population is truly at risk. Jesus said to them, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Turkey announces decision to join South Africa in genocide lawsuit against Israel at The Hague. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakam Faden announced on Wednesday that Turkey has decided to officially join South Africa's lawsuit against Israel at the International Criminal Court at The Hague. The lawsuit accuses Israel of committing genocide against the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. We presented the results of our assessments today to our president and in accordance with the political decision that was made, I would like to announce for the first time that we have decided to intervene in the case filed by South Africa against Israel at the International Court of Justice, Fadan said at a press conference alongside the Indonesian foreign minister. Anti-Israel sentiment runs high throughout most of Turkey. On Tuesday, a Turkish tourist visiting Israel was eliminated after stabbing a police officer in the old city of Jerusalem. Edrigan condemned the attack and said Turkey will take necessary measures to prevent it from happening again. The Turkish president met with Hamas political leader Ismail Hanani in April in their first meeting since the October 7th terror attack. The Turkish president has previously stated his Turkey's strong support for Hamas. He also refused calls by several Western nations to label Hamas as a terrorist organization. Lightning lights up erupting volcano in Indonesia. Thousands of people had to flee their homes early Tuesday as Indonesia's Mount Rong volcano erupted, spewing lava and ash more than a mile into the sky. Watch this stunning video of lightning snapping across the sky above the volcano's crater. Russian space nuke could render low Earth orbit unstable for over a year. The detonation of Russia's nuclear space weapon could render low Earth orbit unstable for a year, according to a top Pentagon space official. Several analysts do believe that detonation in space at the right magnitude in the right location could render low Earth orbit, for example, unstable for some period of time. Russia is developing a concerning anti-satellite capability related to a new satellite carrying a nuclear device that Russia is developing. This capability could pose a threat to all satellites operated by countries and companies around the globe, as well as to the vital communication, scientific, meteorological, agricultural, commercial, and national security services will all depend upon them. Asteroid hunters spot 27,500 overlooked near-Earth asteroids. 
Asteroid hunters have identified over 27,000 new overlooked near-Earth asteroids using cutting-edge technology instead of stargazing with a traditional telescope. Researchers devised a novel algorithm called Tracklet Less Heliocentric Orbit Recovery, or THOR for short, which pursues old photos of space like a form of interstellar forensics. Using the method, the scientists were able to pinpoint the tens of thousands of newly identified solar system bodies, more than we discovered by all the world's telescopes last year combined. The majority of these reside within the main asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. While none of the newly formed intergalactical boulders were on a collision course with Earth, thank God, the algorithm could help identify potentially hazardous asteroids and other terrors from beyond. Thor currently can locate 80% of near-Earth asteroids that are 460 feet in diameter or larger, 10% shy of the goal outlined in a 2005 mandate passed by Congress. Benjamin Netanyahu is firing back. In a public address, Netanyahu blasted the world court for its consideration of issuing arrest warrants against Israeli officials, including himself, as part of an ongoing investigation into Israel's conduct during the war against Palestinian terrorists in Gaza. This would be an outrage of historic proportions, Netanyahu said. International bodies like the ICC were created after World War II to prevent the reoccurrence of horrors and future genocides after the Holocaust, the Prime Minister said. Yet now, the international court is trying to put Israel in the dock. It's trying to put us in the dock as we defend ourselves against genocidal terrorists and regimes. Iran, of course, that openly works to destroy the one and only Jewish state, he said. Pointing to the partially violent anti-Israel and anti-Semitic protests across university campuses in the U.S., Netanyahu said arrest warrants issued by the ICC would effectively brand Israel leaders as war criminals. It's true, you guys. If you don't know what's going on right now in North America, especially the United States, I suggest that you all uh, Google leftist protests on college campuses. And you will see, like, this is a picture right here from Columbia, Columbia University. Just watch. There's some YouTubers that have made, tried to make because they only let selected press, pre-approved press go in there because they're leftists, right? They're not, they don't play by the books. So, but there's YouTubers that have snuck hidden cameras and stuff in there. And you guys should take a look at it. It's quite shocking to say the least. Over 98% of world's central banks gearing up for new system of digital cash. The era of cash money is running near its end, and it will come with the end of privacy. The World Economic Forum claims in a new report that 98% of the world's central banks have agreed to implement the globalist long-awaited dream of a cashless society. Most central banks, such as the US Federal Reserve, are quasi-government institutions owned privately by billionaire bankers. And the World Economic Forum is not the first to reveal the plans of the globalist elite which have been preparing for years to eliminate paper fiat currencies. But this latest report indicates the grand plan is now very close to being realized, perhaps just waiting for a triggering event, a black swan-like event of some type, before making the switch to digital cash. There's actually quite a few restaurants, especially in places like New York and LA, that don't even accept cash anymore. They only accept card digital currency. It's really crazy. Um, I'll speak more about crypto and digital cash in a future video. Though. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to try and name the scripture of the day in today's video, and you'll have your comment pinned to the top and be entered in a draw for an Amazon gift card. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the video and turn on all your post notifications so you never miss an upload or live event. See you guys in the next one.